Eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, is a recurrent chronic skin condition that has genetic origins. It develops as a result of an immunologic abnormality that causes an excessive immune response to environmental allergens. Other allergy disorders include allergic rhinitis and asthma are closely associated with eczema. Eczema frequently occurs in those who have a history of allergic reactions like hay fever or those with elevated IgE antibodies. Though eczema is predominantly found in infants and children, there are instances where individuals suffer from it throughout their lifetime. The presentation and location of eczema can often be indicative of its underlying cause. Eczema can manifest in various ways and go through acute, subacute, and chronic stages. A hallmark of this condition is itching. The acute stage is characterized by bright redness of the skin, oozing vesicles, and extreme itching. During the subacute stage, the skin appears scaly with red to red-brown plaques. Chronic eczema can cause the skin to thicken, showing enhanced skin markings called lichenification. Affected areas may undergo changes in color, either becoming lighter, hypopigmentation, or darker, hyperpigmentation, especially when recurrent irritation and scratching persist. Dry skin is notably evident, especially in areas like the antecubital, inside of the elbow, and popliteal, behind the knee, spaces. Across all stages, the skin lesions of eczema can vary, appearing as red patches, bumps, or scales. Edema, serous discharge, and crusting may arise with prolonged irritation and scratching. It's vital to distinguish eczema from other skin conditions like psoriasis, especially when it comes to treatment. Addressing the symptoms of eczema often involves multiple therapeutic approaches. Keeping the skin moisturized can alleviate dryness and restore the skin's barrier function. Managing and lowering stress can be beneficial as it has been found that stress may be a factor in eczema flare-ups. Topical treatments include immunomodulators like Eladel and Protopic and corticosteroids. Protopic has been associated with side effects such as redness, burning, and itching. It can also sensitize the skin to sunlight. For severe cases unresponsive to topical treatments, systemic immunosuppressants like methotrexate, cyclosporine, or azathioprine might be prescribed. Oral glucocorticoids, such as prednisone, are another option. Phototherapy can be effective for severe inflammation and itching. Antibiotics may be prescribed if secondary bacterial infections arise in the affected areas. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.